Imagine there are two children that are kidnapped from the shopping mall, they're locked up in a house, and they're being abused in the same time. One of them manages to undo their shackles and escape and call the police at a neighbor's house, and the other one doesn't. And this is a type of scenario that I've seen before in the evening news. Both of them could have been in the same situation, but they'll experience the traumatic event differently. And in this case, what I'm illustrating is the child who escaped and called the police perhaps feels a feeling of agency, of control, of helpfulness over their own salvation and situation, as opposed to the other sibling who was locked up the whole time and was helpless to do anything about it. They felt profoundly useless, helpless, disempowered during this experience. And these are the types of things that we don't think make a big difference, but they make a tremendous difference when we're busy going through the worst days of our lives, experiencing it and remembering it. And our emotions and our thoughts kind of join together and form those memories. So anytime we can do any tiny action in a trauma event to feel a little bit helpful and to be productive in delivering our salvation, it's super powerful. If you can encourage somebody else in this type of scenario to do something for their own salvation, it's super powerful.